Hello, and welcome to my first tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the 7 second display. So when you go in your menu, then to wire, wire display, you find the first thing that comes up is 7 second display. So as you can see there. So also when you read the description you'll see that it spawns 7 indicators for numeric displays as you can find in watches. And that's also what we're going to do. We're going to try and convert a timer into some kind of watch. So to start with, we're going to spawn a metal plate of 2x4. Put it against the wall. There you go. And two and one by two to set up the, the shifts and all wires. There you go. Now go to wire display, seven second display. And as you can see, you'll find two colors. The first one is when the indicator is off, and the second one is it when it's eliminated. So, whoops. So, get them onto a plate. There you go. So that will be the seconds and this will be the minutes. For the hours it's the same thing over and over again, so let's keep it to the minutes and the seconds. And for the sake of reality, we're going to set a colon in between to separate them. Hmm. There you go. And hmm, where's the other one? Never mind. <laughs> and the second one. Half. There you go. Okay, so let's start with the timer. So go to gate time and scroll all the way down and select timer. Put it on control panel. We also need a rounder, set to round the timer's number. So go to arithmetic and then round, put it next to each other. We'll need two buttons, one to run the timer and one to reset it. So to run the timer, don't forget to toggle and don't forget to check the toggle button. So you don't need to keep it pressed for the timer to go up. But for the reset button, uncheck it. There you go. And we'll set up a screen to see how many seconds have passed by. So set it on only one value so you don't get this screen split in two. And time and value B, but just time. There you go. Now wire everything together. So wire the round to the timer. Oops, the no, white is zero. There you go. So, okay, you can see which one is white too. Uh, the run to the toggle button, that's the one there. And the reset button is there. There you go. Oh, and we connect the screen to the random one. So, when you run the program, you'll see that it counts each second. Why not? <laughs> Bit too high. Okay. Now, for each indicator to work, we'll need to set up decoders. And these decoders, you can find them in the gate selection, and it has a seven segment decoder as a name. So put it underneath each segment. There you go. And now uh, for the boring part, we need to connect each indicator to the corresponding decoder. So don't forget to set the Y to zero, because else you will have all you, know, you will have seven uh, wires coming out, and that won't represent as good as it has none. So as you can see, each indicator has its own values: so A, B, C, D, and so on until G. And so you also need to connect them to the corresponding output. So you got output A, output B, and so on and so on. 
and to shorten the video I'm going to pause now and resume it in part 2 so be right back ok we're we'll back so as you can see I've connected each single indicator to the corresponding decoder now our goal now is to convert the time so the seconds into seconds and minutes but we also we may not forget to separate the seconds into two parts so the first part and second part so if you got for example 15 seconds it should display here 5 and here 1 so let's start do it by first going to the expression chip and let's make a new expression chip so let's call it time or time watch I think I'm not so good in uh, choosing names so <laughs> let's put it that way and call this one time the label that's the label is what you're going to see when you hover over the expression ship so the name of the expression ship um, now the input will be the timer so the seconds that comes from the timer and we need 